a hectic scene erupting on Bolivar last night for Go Topless Jeep Weekend. It's where we begin tonight. Thanks for watching 12 News. I'm Kelsey Johnson. At least two people were shot and taken by medical helicopter to the hospital. Suspect ran from police. We're being told that Galveston County Sheriff's deputies were telling folks to go home and that the beach was closed. This is video from last night. As of yesterday, more than 60 people had already been arrested. Tonight, 12 News reporter Jordan James is getting us new numbers and a breakdown of what happened overnight. Jordan. Yeah, Kelsey, the Galveston County Sheriff's Office tells me that the crowds, they're much larger than they were last year. Also, there's been an increase in the number of arrests that have been made this year. More on that here in a little bit. But regarding last night's incident, the Sheriff's Office tells us that a fight broke out between a group of men. Eventually, a woman got involved and the suspect shot at two men who were taken to the hospital who underwent surgery. At this time, deputies are still trying to locate the suspect who ran away following the shooting. The Galveston County Sheriff's Office says on Friday and Saturday there were 127 arrests made. During this same time frame last year, 119 people were arrested. The Sheriff's Office believes more, more arrests have been caused due to the amount of people who are on the beach. People come down here to enjoy their time now. Of course, you got the people that get out of hand and don't know how to take care of their own business, so that's what we're here for. You know, basically, it's like I've said before, come down here, enjoy yourself, have a good time. We don't have a problem. That's what it's about. But when you start acting silly, then the sheriff has a place for you to stay. There are more than 100 law enforcement agents patrolling Bolivar Peninsula during Go Topless Jeep Weekend. Coming up at 10, I'll tell you how some locals are reacting to this weekend coming to an end. Also, I'll explain what crime Galveston County Sheriff's Office are strongly enforcing this go round. Reporting here from Bolivar Peninsula, Jordan James, 12 News.